Okay, so I just installed the Gen Air black cooktop and not too happy about that. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's like they put the clear coat on after they put the sticker on. I, I don't I don't know what's up with that. But it does that. What's stopping it when I Yeah, so if I push down on it, it stops. If I let go, it starts again. Same thing with that one. If I push down on it, it stops. Push down, stops. Let up, starts again. That one was working a minute ago, but now it's not anymore. down that it stops lift up just a little bit it stops so what I'm going to try doing is putting a little bit of nickel contactor tape or foil under each one of these to see if that allows the contact to stop sparking so I just put it in, and it didn't work to begin with, but I sat there and finagle with it, finagle with it, and then it worked. But you can see the nickel sticking out from underneath right there, and I'm not actually like, sure if it was the nickel that fixed it or me just sitting there poking it with a knife afterwards. Ouchie. So this one's got a whole lot bigger area. So I just took a piece of nickel, folded it over like that, put this guy on, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. I was like, don't know exactly what's having to do here. See now it works. Jeez the way. Okay, so this one's gonna stick back there like that. Oh, God damn it. Hot. You can see it sitting at somewhat of an angle. Which one is that? That is this one. Okay, so I'm going to stick something underneath this side. Okay, so what I did over here is I just took a piece and I folded it over like that on this one. So I'm going to do that right now and I'll show you what I did. So I just take it and fold it over in a U. So let's just go, let's see if I can do this on the fly. Uh, one handed. No working. I stuck it just like that. This is so janky that you have to do this. Oh, you bastard. Okay, so you can see it's sitting crooked right now. Let's just fire it up, see what happens. And it worked. Oh, sweet Jeebus. So, I guess I can go back and do the rest of these the right way now that I know what to do. Oop, look at that, left that bad boy on. 
I wonder how often, how many times I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one. So what I do is I just cut it like that. And then it shoots off on the floor somewhere. You can go find it. And that one, it must have been touching the edge right there. And that's why it was working. And for those of y'all that don't have nickel laying around to use this, to do this with, I recommend you go buy some. Okay, you can see it's sitting at an angle. Oh, my one. And it kind of works now, it looks like. Ah! Okay, I'll fix this guy. Oh, that was me. That was me going, ugh, in frustration. Oh, it's going to get knocked off by the circle. Can't do that. It's weird, I can just touch it. Just touch it with my knife. And it stops. Not this. Ouch. Just touch it with the tip of the knife. That's why I think it has to be better connectivity between this guy and something. Okay, let me play with this. Alright, so for this one that was giving me a little bit of problems. What I did after I did the little knife thing back and forth, back and forth, I just took a piece of nickel and rolled it into a big circle. And you might be able to see that it's sitting a little bit high. And I can take this guy, possibly push him down a little bit. But now it seems to be working. Oh, geez Louise. What a total cluster, Jen Air. Come on. Why am I having to struggle with this? Okay, this is finished. This took me all day because I had to keep going to Home Depot back and forth. And I'm still not done because I got a down blower down here. Now I got to figure out. I had to make the hose longer because the original hose wasn't long enough. And then I had to get, got the wrong fittings the first time. And I still got to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing. Um, yeah, exactly. 